All right, people, welcome back. More value wise. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using Ubelixies. So I made a tiny little incy bincy teeny little, little little thing adjustment in the deck. Uh, literally, I took one card out, put one card in. Uh, what I took out was uh, Dark Greffer. He's at two, and I'm gonna drop him down to one because the discarding darks in this deck aren't a lot, and then the ones that I want to discard. I generally don't because I don't want them to miss timing. That's that's the pr well, miss timing or be for cost. Uh, cards like Ares, uh, Shadow Dragon, and then the new card that I put in. Uh, as you guys know, I actually stated, or oh, maybe not. It's been a couple weeks, but in the last you know, like video, I pretty much stated that I wanted to go ahead and put in uh, an additional level. So I can make message in the bottom or lie because pretty much it was like, hey, if Eris is in the graveyard with you, Bell, you're not getting anything. That, that's you can use messenger bottle because I need my level fours, majority deck level fours. I need Eris who's the level three, and I need Bell to be the level ten. So I actually decided to go ahead and put in an additional level, and as you can clearly see, it is actually Shadow Falcon. Uh, the reason why is because I also have Shadow Dragon. So if I go ahead and you know send Shadow Dragon, and Shadow Falco can go ahead and summon back Shadow Dragon. Um, I'm probably not going to use it for being a tuner. I'm not really planning on it. Of course, this is you about C, so I'm not really planning on that to be a thing. Uh, so I didn't really prepare for that and put like, oh, you know, I have a whole bunch of fours and you know, lots of twos, so let me go ahead and put in Goya Guardian. You're like, no, I didn't, I didn't even bother. Uh, but uh, I can loop it with Tear. It's kind of like a pseudo loop, kind of like a level eater. Uh, pretty much, I summon Shadow Falcon, I poke you for 600, then Terra Wipe. During the end phase, Shadow Falcon will go ahead and come back, set itself. So pretty much my opponent has to come back to my Falcon and, you know, pretty much get dragoned because uh, if they don't, then they're going to be pretty much screwed. So uh, that's pretty much the plan. Oh, got another Rota. I totally don't mind getting multiple Rotas. I am thinking about Castelling that card because I cannot... St oh, actually, I don't even have to Castell the card. I could just go ahead and send Dragon. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just send Dragon. Especially since I opened up with Eris, I'll go ahead and just send Dragon because I don't, I don't like this card. I don't like this card at all. I'm probably going against something like um, uh, Yang Zings. Uh, there's not a lot of decks that play that card, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it with Dragon now, which means that my Falco is not alive. Oh no, that's uh, Shadal Zephyr deck. Okay. Uh, there's really no, not since I see it's like a Zephyr. I, I'm not gonna try to. XC or anything. Uh, I'm not going to overextend. If I XC, then there's a chance that I can go ahead and get shit off fusion. I mean, this is the video. It's just starting off with me just thinking my thought process. Like, just straight up, Daniel is just thinking. <laughs> you know. Like I said, it's just kind of odd that I opened up with Eris. So, you're 1 in 7. So, it's time to do Pendulum Shokan, I guess. Pendulum Shokan. You don't have to announce that. You can just go ahead and summon. So this, uh, when this card spends though, you could target one card and either to return it to the zone. Okay. So, are you returning to the zone? I don't know who's affected again. Uh, this guy. Alright. You could target one other Telen. Oh, yeah. And one face of card your opponent patrols. Destroy them. You can only use. Okay. So, you're just pretty much going to destroy one of my monsters. That's fine. You can destroy them again. You can have that. Don't even let mad at. You want to go ahead and destroy your pendulum zone to go ahead and do that? Oh, now he's using El Shadal Fusion. And uh, here comes Construct. See? I couldn't I couldn't risk the plays right now. I'm not overextending. I'm just taking the duel slow. So, uh, do you want Construct Effect? Or did you just summon Construct just to summon Construct? Like, I'm not sure. Okay, you want Construct Effect. That's fine. And Falco and Falco's gonna resum himself. See, they kind of have a similar thought process right now. Both of you on these Falco. So Falco's gonna go ahead and summon itself, and then he's just gonna go ahead and kill my army again, right? I just fine. It's about a good time as ever during the end phase to go ahead and summon Yubel. Uh, my opponent's kind of overextended, using a lot of resources, and uh, it's just a good time to go ahead and tear it, tear it up, right? <sighs> So right now, all I have is fours. I need to still get Eris in the graveyard. Um, 
I might just go ahead and go Armageddon Knight to send Falco. Falco summon itself. Oh no, because then I'd be dumb because I'm going to go for Terror anyway and Terror's going to wipe the field. His Falco's going to come back, but and Construct is going to go ahead and get... Uh, if I would have drew something differently, if I would have drew differently, my place would have been different. Hmm. I still want to go for Terror. You know, he'll go ahead and get his shit all fusion back. I don't care about that. And this will just die and then reset itself. But then, of course, uh, actually, you know what? It might be best to go ahead and just actually call the hunted summon Armageddon Knight and have Armageddon Knight kill the the window so it won't come in back. You know, because you only get and you don't even have any targets in the grave right now. Yeah, that'd be the most optimal play right now. The video of thought process is 1400. All right. That's bad. That's bad. I really wish... I mean, you're going to flip, but you only get one of the effects only once per turn, only once that turn, so I don't have to worry about you getting multiple effects. I guess I'll go ahead and send Falco, and I guess Falco can get the effect. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to tear, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Is it optional? Uh... Discarding center guard, you can special summon if it's opposition, so it doesn't matter. Nah, I don't need the effect. No point in fact. <coughs> and I guess I'll go ahead and just summon tear. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. If I summon tire an hour later, it doesn't matter. Just know that tear needs to hit the field. Uh what level is this monster right now? Four, three, three, four, two. Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and summon an attack position. If you want to one one me, one one me, because you could easily cast down me, so at this point, it really doesn't matter. But by summoning this attack, this is before damage calculation, so if he goes ahead and tries to ram my, you know, kill me with Construct, he's still going to take the 28, so. Oh, but he's not going to get the effect because there's nothing to target. Aww. Oh, yeah. Yep, so he doesn't get the effect. It was optional. I tried to bait it, but I I couldn't. Damn. I tried to bait it. <laughs> I really did. I tried to bait it. I was like, oh yeah, he would go flip his get his effect, like I know he doesn't have any targets, so he doesn't even you know activate. And it's optional too. Right. Damn, I seriously thought that I could bait it and get out of the situation, but nope, so we can go ahead and set the Fal reset the Falco, and then of course Falco can flip up next turn and he can summon back the construct again. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I should have thought that out better. God, I hate doing against dolls. They're so floaty and annoying. <laughs> like, I, I know you're playing Zephyr. I'm like, I don't even care about that. I'm, not, I'm trying to get with the Shadals right now. So what are the different levels that I have right now? Two, four, and ten. So yes, I can go ahead and activate message in the bottle. Oh, uh, he's gonna go ahead and pendulum summon. That caught me off of guard. But I should have known he's just gonna go ahead and pendulum summon right back. That's fine. Are you going to use your Zeph effect again? Go ahead and destroy my tear. Mm hmm. That's fine. It could be anyone. As long as you can target one other Tellite monster and card your Monster Zone or your Pen Zone. Target and destroy effect. Oh, okay. That's bad. I thought it had to be in the Pendulum Zone. Like, no, it could be, it could be a monster on the field. Like, ooh. I don't like that then. You can just keep on pencil summoning and popping my shit. I don't like that. I don't like you, sir. 
Mm -hmm. And some construct back. That's a difficult door. You can go ahead and synchro summon. You go into four, you can go into six. If you run the HT, you can go ahead and ram into me. And then banish my, uh, oh, all right. Hmm, this card is going to make activate the problem in the tournament. If you use an effect monster, you could target one pit of monster and fill in the game. You could choose only one to target, cannot attack. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. That definitely caught me off guard. That's permanent, isn't it? Wow, so he just permanently took my ultimate nightmare. That's that's gross. I forgot about this card. Completely forgot about it. Damn. Ah, this duel is difficult. Might have lost. Try to figure out some way to get out of this, but right now I don't see it. Wow, at this point I really don't have much to send left. Of course, window. <coughs> window is going to be a bitch right now. And Mass Chameleon, really can't do much with that right now. If I activate Destiny in the bottle and I don't XC, then I take 4,000 life points, but I can only special summon once a turn, so... If I don't XC this turn... Okay, I think about summoning Mass Chameleon, not using its effect, XC into Castell. Castell, spin back the... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does, Castell. Castell, spin back the window. Uh, then main phase two, go in, play message in a bottle, and then summon my multiple monsters. I said, I'm still in a heap of trouble, but you know, I'll be able to do something. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So I top decked into something that's helpful. So. Oh, this is a difficult duel. This guy's good. This is a good duel. I'm not using the most optimal deck. But I'm still gonna try to do something. Is there any other effect? You can target one other face of from the phone Okay. Not to worry about that. Alright, I did exceed this turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and play uh message in a bottle. I'm going to summon you, you, and you. Doesn't matter if effects are negated anyway. I did exceed this turn, so I don't have to worry about that. I guess I'll go ahead and attack this monster, even though it's probably a window, and he'll probably just summon Construct again. Actually, he doesn't even have Construct. I thought he did. Oh, it is Construct. Set construct, that's what it is. Uh. What? It is a construct. That's what it is. What is a set card? It's construct. Ah, uh, still in deep shit. Still in some deep shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can't do anything. That's the best as I can pull off right now. So, I'm probably going to get it some more. So, I guess I'll go ahead and just end my turn. My effects are negated. I did activate. Uh, I did exceed, so I don't have to pay the 4000 for message in a bottle. Uh, everything is okay for right now. Just 
I'm probably going to get overpowered right now. It's bad. This is a good duel, though, but I'm just not strong enough to be facing this deck. Um, even if the Depros aren't that good, the Shadals are the... I, I exceed to them. Turn. As long as I exceed during the, the turn that I activate it, I don't take 4,000. Which is good, I need to cast out. You say, if you do not exceed seven this turn, <coughs> I couldn't. I could have swore that if you exceed before, it's fine. If you do not exceed seven this turn after summoning those three monsters, you go. Eh, whatever. So yeah, that's game. Huh? I could have swore. I could have swore it was something different. I want to rematch. I'm ending this video anyway. I just want to go ahead and look at something, so uh, be right back. Okay, here we go. I found it. This is what caught me off guard. During the end phase, if you did not exceed some of this turn, you lose 4,000 life points. But I guess they changed it to say that using those three monsters, or after this card is activated. So that's where I messed up. Oh well, it's fine. I probably would have lost that duel anyway. I didn't have to activate that card, but I kind of wanted to, just so I could summon you Bell with Effect Negated, so if you destroy it by battle, I can go ahead and summon Terror, but... Yeah, I was just completely out of pace to that duel. I tried. I tried, though. So, I guess I'll go ahead and call this a video. So, I apologize for fucking up like that and taking that 4,000, but, uh... Uh, it seemed like the deck worked, you know, that additional, uh, the... It seemed like the, the Falco... Helped. It helped. It didn't. I didn't pull off the play that I wanted to, but it helped with the additional level that you know. Despite opening up with uh, with Eris, I didn't have to set her to go up with my mission battle plays. It really just sucks that I never got you know uh uh what's that card called a Galaxy Queen's Light. Nor did I get a Galaxy Wizard, so I couldn't even change my level. So I that's probably like the crappiest part of the duel. That if I would have actually got those cards, I'm maybe. Really able to pull off some, you know, nice exceeds and been able to handle the situation much better. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm Wise. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Ubel or Yings and Ubel. Alright, people, thanks for watching.